The Be Quiet Pure Loop 280 is part of the second generation of Be Quiet all-in-one liquid CPU coolers. The 280 variant is obviously the bigger brother of the Pure Loop 240 model that I reviewed just a few months ago. This cooler is bigger, should perform better and comes with a small price increase, all while maintaining the subtle design elements which make these Be Quiet coolers stand out from the crowd, especially when the crowd is loud, cheaply made and has too many RGB LEDs for its own good. The Pure Loop 280 is available for purchase right now for 104.90 US dollars or euros, which means that the 280mm variant of the Pure Loop is just 10 US dollars or euros more expensive than the 240mm variant. A rare thing these days, as most closed loop CPU coolers will get a good price increase for just the usage of a slightly bigger radiator and bigger fans. The Be Quiet Pure Loop 280 looks pretty much the same as the 240 variant. The only differences being that the 280 variant has a bigger radiator and two 140mm fans instead of the usual 120mm models. Other than that, this cooler looks great. The radiator and fans are all black while the CPU block is half black and features a lovely brush texture on the top. Speaking of RGB, well, there isn't any. In fact, the only LED present on this entire CPU cooler is on the CPU block and it's this simple white LED stripe which illuminates the outer edges of the block. No, you cannot change the color or its brightness. It's either on all the time or off all the time and I sort of like it. Speaking of the CPU block, unfortunately it is made from plastic. It's not a cheap plastic, but it's still plastic nonetheless. And if you're wondering why I'm not making a big deal out of this, well, it's simple. This CPU block is just that, a CPU block. It does not contain the pump of the cooler. The base plate of this CPU cooler is made from solid nickel plated copper and has a smooth surface. In fact, this surface has a subtle radial pattern applied to it. This will not affect the performance of the cooler in any way, and it does look good. The pump of this CPU cooler is an inline pump and it is located on the rear side of the tubing. This little plastic thing is what moves the liquid around the CPU loop and cools your CPU. The pump used here requires a constant 12 volts of power and can and will spin at a maximum of 5500 RPM. However, as we discovered with the 240mm variant of the Pure Loop cooler, even though this pump spins at a high rate, it is almost dead silent, but more on that later on into the review. Also keep in mind that when I say 12 volts of power, I mean it, and so does the manufacturer, which is why they supply this cooler with a SATA adapter for the pump and the white LEDs on the CPU block. The tubes are plenty long to work around pretty much any system. The length of the tubes is around 400mm. And let me tell you, these tubes are flexible enough to loop around your system. In addition, both tubes are covered by high quality woven sleeving which also has this reflective texture. The cooler uses 90 degree angled fittings on the CPU block and regular straight fittings on the radiator side. Unfortunately, all these fittings look to be made from plastic. It's good quality plastic but still, it is plastic. The radiator used on the Pure Loop 280 is made from aluminum and can accept up to four 140mm fans to be installed. That's two fans on each side. By default, the Pure Loop 280 has its fans installed in a push configuration. The radiator has a thickness of 27mm, a length of 317mm and a width of 140mm. Typical dimensions. What is not typical about this radiator though is that it has a very simple metal made fill and bleed port installed on the opposite side of the tubes. For those that are not familiar with liquid cooling in general, a fill and bleed port or whatever it's called is used for two things. First of all, you open it to allow any trapped air to escape from the loop and second of all, you use it to fill the system up with liquid if it's needed. I am not sure how messing with this port will affect the warranty status of the cooler so please be aware and just leave this port alone if your cooler performs as normal. The fans used with this cooler are 140mm in size and these are the Pure Wings 2 BQ PUW2 140-25HR PWM models. These fans have a maximum speed of 1600 RPM and use a rifle bearing system. Thankfully, both fans have a 4-pin connector for power and are fully compatible with PWM, which means that you can control their speed through software or let your motherboard do it automatically for you. Before we test this cooler or even install it, it's time to see what's actually being delivered with it. And we start with this lovely coolant bottle. 
Then we have the user manual, a couple of zip ties, the SATA adapter for the pump and white LEDs on the CPU block, a Y splitter for the two fans, and a small tube of thermal compound. Afterwards, we have the components of the mounting system, which include a metal backplate, metal studs, rubber washers, mounting arms for AMD and for Intel, plastic spacers, plastic washers, metal nuts, and short and long fan screws. The installation process is identical across the whole range of pure loop CPU coolers, and I could just as easily direct you to another review of mine for this, but I won't. We start with the backplate, and you need to insert the studs into the correct spaces. Afterwards, you secure the studs onto the backplate with these small rubber washers. Then you place the backplate onto the back of the motherboard. Then at the front, you screw in these metallic nuts, and afterwards you place the mounting arms over the nuts, securing them with these small screws. Finally, you apply the thermal compound onto the CPU surface and place the CPU block over the mounting arms. You then secure the block by tightening these two pre-installed screws, one at the top and the other one at the bottom. And you're pretty much done. Of course, you also need to install the radiator and the fans, but that is dependent on which case you use and to be completely honest, it's pretty much a no-brainer. And with the cooler installed, we get to see that it has a great design that will match any modern motherboard and system. Not only that, but with the pump installed on the tubes, the CPU block is smaller and will not add more weight onto the motherboard. Before we test the cooling performance of the PureLoop 280, it's time to hear how it sounds like. And as is the usual with CPU cooler reviews on this channel, you will get to hear a noise sample of both fans and the pump of this cooler. I am doing this because while a decibel value is useful to establish how loud a CPU cooler is, it will not consider unwanted noises such as bearing ticking from the fans or a high-pitched noise coming from the pump. These noise samples are done with the fans and the pump running at their maximum speed. With both 140mm fans running at their maximum speed of 1600 RPM, the Be Quiet Pure Loop 280 reached a maximum noise output of 36 decibels, with the measuring device placed at 10 cm away from the system and the CPU cooler. This places this cooler next to models such as the Noctua NH-D15S or the Alphacool Ace Bear 280. Quite a good result for two 140mm fans that spin at 1600 RPM. The performance is tested using the Intel i9-9900K CPU, which is running at both its factory frequency and settings, and it is also overclocked manually to 5GHz on all cores. The ambient temperature is held at a steady 26 degrees Celsius. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark, a synthetic benchmark which places a load onto the CPU which is similar in severity with what you can encounter while you're playing a modern video game. And in this test, the Be Quiet Pure Loop 280 reached a maximum temperature of 56 degrees Celsius, with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores, and a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at factory frequency and settings. This places the Pure Loop 280 around the top area of the chart. However, the next test is where each CPU cooler is pushed to its limits, some of them even beyond that, as this CPU uses the FPU system stability test of the AIDA64 Extreme software. This benchmark will place an unrealistically high load onto the CPU, something which you will rarely if ever encounter in your daily usage. In fact, the closest thing that you can do to experience such a high CPU load is to do heavy video rendering using the CPU as the only rendering unit. And in this test, the Be Quiet Pure Loop 280 reached a maximum temperature of 81 degrees Celsius, with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores, and a temperature of 59 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory frequency and settings. This again places the Pure Loop 280 around the top of the chart, and now we get to see that the difference between the 240 Pure Loop and the 280 is around 1 to 2 degrees Celsius. 
This is not uncommon or surprising as both coolers use pretty much the same fan in terms of its performance. Sure, the 240mm model has two 120mm fans while the 281 has two 140mm fans. However, the fans on the 240mm Pure Loop cooler are spinning at 2000 rpm while the two 140mm fans used on this 280mm pure loop cooler only spin at 1600 rpm. Also the radiator size differences between the 240 and the 280 coolers is not that big, which is why we see such a small gap in performance between these two particular coolers. So if that's the case, then you'll ask me why even get the pure loop 280 if it's $10 more expensive and it is just 1 to 2 degrees Celsius better at cooling. And this question has a simple answer which is noise. The Pure Loop 280 is quieter than the Pure Loop 240, as its fans spin slower to achieve the same performance. The Be Quiet Pure Loop 280 is a good CPU cooler. The build quality is good and the same can be said for its cooling performance. However, using fans that spin faster and perhaps have more static pressure would have resulted in better temperatures. Make no mistake, this is a good CPU cooler, but it could have been better, especially since it's not exactly a paragon of silence anyway, so trading just a little bit more noise for a lower temperature could have been a good idea. The Pure Loop 280, just like the Pure Loop 240, has another advantage. It uses an inline pump, which while not dead silent, it is very quiet and miles ahead of many acetic based coolers out there. The installation process is very easy, however, I still maintain my original point, which is that this mounting system, while good, can do with less components. Mind you, at least this mounting system uses a metallic backplate and not a plastic one, like, I don't know, half of the market already. The Pure Loop 280 then is a good choice for those that want a silent pump, a good looking CPU cooler and a great cooling performance. However, if you don't have the space for the 280, then the 240mm Pure Loop cooler will work for you just fine. If you like this review, then perhaps you may consider subscribing for more reviews. And also, if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you can find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.